Oh my god, hey! Welcome back to my stagey YouTube channel. If you are meeting me for the first time, my name is Mickey Joe, and I am obsessed with all things theatre. I am a freelance theatre critic and an avid theatre goer here in London and today I have come to the Phoenix Theatre where a revival of a streetcar named Desire has recently transferred from the Almeida. This production stars Paul Mescal and Patsy Farron and Angela Vassan and picked up a bunch of Olivier Awards at the recent Olivier Awards ceremony and for all of the above reasons it is a very hot ticket. But there is a way of getting seats on the day. So like many shows you can queue up at the box office and buy day seats which are seats made available on the day only for a reduced price. However, for Streetcar, because it is so popular and so many people will be interested, there's a little bit of a twist. Okay, I lost a little bit of footage there, but let me tell you how the game actually works. This is the important part of the video. So two and a half hours before every single performance, that's five o'clock for a 7.30 show or midday for a 2.30 matinee, the first 30 people in line at the box office get to enter into this game of chance. They can arrive at whatever time they deem fit, but the line will be cut off at 30. At that point, some of the box office staff will give every one of those 30 people a glow stick out of a tote bag. And the good news is, is just by being in this 30, you are guaranteed to be able to see that performance. It's just not necessarily guaranteed that you will get a seat rather than a standing ticket. So like I said, everyone will be given a glow stick, they will take it out, and after a countdown, everyone will snap and shake their glow sticks. Not all of the glow sticks will snap, and crucially, not all of the glow sticks will glow, but five of them will. So if you are in possession of one of the five glow glowing green glow sticks, you have won the chance to buy an exclusive pair of £10 front row tickets. Everyone else gets the chance to buy a standing ticket. If you are just one individual and you do not need to buy a pair of tickets, then you don't have to buy both. You can just buy one, or you could team up in the queue with someone else who is just looking for one and double both of your chances. And also maybe make a friend out of the experience. Maybe you'll fall in love. Who knows what will happen? With only five lucky winners of this competition and up to 30 people able to enter at each performance, you would have at minimum a one in six chance of winning unless you bring other people with you as well, in which case your odds are doubled. So today, because my boyfriend Aaron and I happened to be in London anyway for some other events. We've come along to the Phoenix Theatre. Also, we won the Cabaret Lottery yesterday on the Today Ticks app, so I feel like luck is on our side this week. So this is our first time trying. We have queued up. We got here just after four o'clock, which was pretty late, but it's a Tuesday, which is not one of the busier days of the week. People are still at work. More people obviously come to London on the weekend or a Friday night. There were about eight people in front of us in the queue when we arrived just after four o'clock. The queue starts at the box office on this side, uh, but more people have since arrived and joined them because they were holding the line for their friends. I still think we will be in the first 30. As of right now, it looks to be just over 15 people and there's about 45 minutes until the drawing, which I'm going to show you. So stay tuned and let's see if we win the Streetcar Named Desire Ticket Lottery. This is our spot here. We're by this nice neon light bulb situation. Got about 45 minutes. I was just saying, I, I don't actually know if it's going to reach full game capacity today because uh, there's like less than 20 people in the queue at the moment. Maybe more people will join around five. Some people are walking past and eyeing up the queue. Is that participation? Is that just curiosity? It's very hard to say. It's very hard to say. The tensions are building. Not really. Everyone's just chilling and having a nice time. So you may be curious about this. If this is the first time you're hearing of something like this, back in the day, I feel like day seats were the first thing to come yeah. in. So first, first there were day seats, and then I think it was rent in New York um, that originally then had to come up with a different system because young people were like camping out on the freezing cold streets of New York, and that wasn't safe, and there was too much interest. So they then made it a lottery instead. So you turn up at a designated time, and they do a lottery. I feel like it's originally in person at the theatre. Um, one of the recent shows to do that over here. I say recent; it was a while ago. Book of Mormon and Aladdin. And Aladdin. And both did that in London uh, for a while but you just turned up at the time or a little bit before whereas here they've announced that it's going to be limited to 30 people mm -hmm. so I feel like people are turning up earlier just to make sure they're really in but like I say on a day like today I feel like people maybe it's about half past now it's still not 30 people busy here so on a day like today or maybe a Tuesday you could probably just turn up at five or very close to five and just participate so good to know something is happening I don't know what's happening we've been ushered to the other side of the road the game is afoot okay the man who ushered us to the other side of the road is gone I don't know if he's coming back so I don't know if the game is afoot or if we've just been relocated but we do now have a nicer view of the Phoenix Theatre that's where we were standing and this is the Phoenix Theatre 
where a streetcar named Desire is currently playing, recently home to Come From Away and Noises Off in the West End. Q update. It's now half past four. 23 people. So, just to give you a sense of the speed at which this queue is filling up again, it's Tuesday, it's not the nicest weather, you know, take that information, do with it what you will. In strictly unrelated news of the day, um, we were at an event this morning where, for various reasons, we came away with a box of free cupcakes. And I was like, do I give out the cupcakes to all these people in the queue? And Aaron thinks it'll seem like I'm bribing people to give me their tickets. But I really just want to get rid of these cupcakes because you can't eat these cupcakes. And I don't want to eat all these cupcakes because I would. I absolutely would. But that's not good for me <laughs> to eat a whole box of cupcakes. So somehow I have to get rid of these cupcakes. I just, I just wanted to be a nice person. I want to foster a spirit of community in this queue. <laughs> Is this not, you think tensions are too high? I did see a play at the Edinburgh Fringe where it was all about a queue and a very tense, like tensions within the queue and um, a woman gave out snacks and it turned out she had been poisoning people. See? So especially after saying that out loud, I should not give out these cupcakes. You're not helping yourself. It is now 4.37 and I'm pretty sure there's like, a, the queue is at about capacity at this point. I think there's about 30 people in the queue, which means we will have a full game, which means our odds will fully be one in three. We have a one in three chance of between us getting a winning glow stick by my calculations, former maths teacher. Um, but also just to let you know when you need to get here by, again, it's gonna change day to day. At this performance, there seem to be 30 people in the queue roughly by 4.37. It is five o'clock on the dot and the grate is opening. The grate is opening, the box office is opening. We're about to play a game, everybody. So it's five o'clock, they have opened the box office, three staff members have come out, um, and they're doing a count to see how many people are in the queue. It's very tense, but we're about like 10, 11, we're fine. I don't love everyone's chances at the back. Glow sticks are coming round. <laughs> I have my glow stick. The glow stick is the thing I'm holding in my hands, everybody. If that was not clear by the context of what we are doing right now. Five, four, three, two, one, snap! Shake! I can't... I can't snap it. Did you win? Did you win again? Oh my god! Oh my god, what is your luck this week? Okay, full disclosure, I did not think we were going to win. So, um, I didn't want to film like people's faces, so I'm going to tell you what just happened. So, the staff let us know they were going to hand us all glow sticks, um, and we were going to hold them, and then on a count of five, we were all going to snap them and shake them. And if they glowed green, then you get the chance to buy two seated tickets. Um, but if they don't, you can still buy standing tickets for the performance. Some people have chosen to do that, some people have left, um, which is fine. But Aaron won. Aaron's glowed green. This is what it looks like, everyone. Green. I am shocked. I am shocked by this. Aaron has now won two days in a row. He won Cabaret Lottery yesterday and this today. We're going to go buy our tickets now. So we just went to the box office, which is around the side of the Phoenix Theatre, um, and paid £20, £10 each, for two tickets on the very front row. AA, we're in five and six. I will show you the view later if I can. Um, it's a tall stage. I know that. Would be it's nice. a tall stage because uh, we sat pretty near the front <coughs> for Come From Away. I sat front row before for Come From, Come From Away. You get a bit of a neck crack, but it's, it's fun. And look, <laughs> here we are. I, full disclosure, this video was going to be like the, the many attempts and this was going to be just our first attempt. Like I've already scheduled it and I was like, that Tuesday we can go and try. And I'd already planned when we were going to come back and try again. I did not think we would win first time because it was a one in three chance. Um, but we did. I, I say we did. Aaron did. You continue to have amazing <laughs> luck for specifically Rebecca Frecknell directed Olivier Award winning revivals. I mean, I do love Rebecca Frecknell's work, so maybe that just makes sense. Yeah, but also, like, Aaron, Aaron, um, very lucky this week. Yeah, weird. Yeah. The priority now is getting rid of these cupcakes. Because that would be a weird thing to take in with I us. I still think we take it to the stage of a bake-off, but now I don't know what they're going to be like inside because I held them sideways. Yeah, in the chaos and confusion of the glow sticking, um, the cupcakes may have suffered. But it's fine. I'm trying to think if there's any more details I need to tell you about this day seat process. Um, obviously, if you win, you get a chance to claim 
two tickets. If you just want one, then you can. Um, uh, you you don't have to buy both, or you could I think like, grab a friend I from like the queue. If, I feel like if you only took one, if you only took one of the two, they'd probably offer the first person who has to stand in. Yeah. Who got standing, so they do it that way. Yeah. So we did overhear them saying at the box office, if you were having a standing ticket, you could come back. What did they say? Fifteen minutes before the I show. Think it's something like fifteen minutes before, and they'll make it. You can pay like. 15 or something to upgrade then to if there were any returns to one of the return seats i think basically yes um but we're gonna go and grab food now i'd kind yeah. of made peace with going back to the flat but now we're seeing a streetcar named desire and i'm not at all mad about that so there you go that's now what's happening update on the cupcakes uh, we left them at the stage door of the noel coward theater for the cast crew anyone in the building for the Great British Bake Off, the musical. For what um, happened? Uh, uh, whose day off it is, who are not in the building. I literally voice noted Grace Moat, and she was like, yeah, we're not there, because it's our day off, but they will get them tomorrow. So, they, you know, they're probably inundated with cake because they're in a musical about cake, but, you know, that's, that's what drew us to giving it to that cast. So that was our experience of winning front row on the day tickets to a streetcar named Desire. I'm going to show you now what our view was like from the front row. It is technically a little bit restricted. If you've been front row at the Phoenix Theatre before, maybe if you come from away, you know that this is a high stage. I am a little bit taller. I'm 5 foot 11, uh, but I wouldn't say I missed any crucial details. Obviously, you're not going to be able to see all of the set, but in terms of being able to see the actors, um, I was never prevented from being able to see anyone's faces or anything important within the show. So I would still recommend these seats and especially for the value and for being that close to these soul bearing and heart wrenching performances. I think it's an amazing theatrical opportunity for anyone. I hope this video has been helpful. If anyone does try their luck at this for the last few performances in the West End, then I wish you luck and let me know how you get on. If anyone else has won before, let us know in the comments section down below and tell us what you thought of the show. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope that everyone is staying safe and that you have a stagey day. For 10 more seconds, I'm Mickey Joe Theatre. Oh my god, hey. Thanks for watching. Have a stagey day. Subscribe! <laughs>